What's going on guys, Shifty here on another video. So right now, we are actually trying to, I'm trying to see if I can't start my motor. I got some, finally got some good news. I'm getting the motor looked at tomorrow, Monday. But before I have the guy come out and, you know, start working on the car and however much he's gonna charge me, which is a lot cheaper, honestly, than these other shops are gonna charge me. I'm trying to see if I can't get the car to start on my own. Now, I know I've been told by numerous shops that the motor is locked up. However, I've been talking to some buddies lately, and I love that feature, by the way, ever since I installed those. It makes it so much easier. Because this thing is not very light, if I'm being honest. But I'm trying to see if maybe the car isn't getting fuel. Because I know something in the back wasn't hooked up and wasn't getting, uh, the power wasn't hooked up. It was the uh, fuel vapor canister. I don't honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have no idea if that has anything to do at all with preventing the car from starting, but I just figured, you know, at least I at least want to hook it up, try it again, see, because if we're already gonna have to take the motor apart, I don't think I can necessarily hurt it anymore because I'm trying to see if I can, when I actually try to start the car, if I'm actually hearing, sorry, it's kind of hard to see me, if you can actually hear the clicker, like the car trying to click, to turn it over because um, I was talking to some friends and you know he was like make sure you know one your spark plugs you got fuel and it's getting air if it's doing all of that and it's like the it's sending the car sending fuel to the block so it can at least kind of ignite we might be able to start it I don't know I'm gonna try I have to hook up the jumper cables because I got a dead battery here I'm gonna have to get a, another battery for the car um, because this one is just dead but yeah I'm gonna try and hook it up we're gonna see if that might work if it doesn't oh well then I'll just you know I, at least I have my guy coming tomorrow um, to start taking apart the motor so we can finally get a you know finally get this pro um, project going you know because like I said I still have to get two tires for the car I this one is the bad tire um, where is it I think this one's the bad one no never mind this one just has the curb rash this one right here is the really bad one as you can see that big chip right there that one's all bad i also have to get a new hanger for the car because for the exhaust hanger i don't know where i put that piece at somewhere in here i removed the air box yeah by the way this is what i had um taken off the car this is the old one and I put, I installed the new one, plugged it in and everything. So I don't know if that has anything at all to do with the car starting, but just in case it does, you never know. I'm really trying every single thing that I can possibly do at this point is that it was not gonna hurt me. I don't know where I put that. Anyways, I need a new hanger so I can hang up the exhaust on the car. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I just wanted to, cause like I said, I don't know if this is actually gonna work, but I wanted to at least record something just in case, fingers crossed, the car actually does start. I want you guys to be able to hear it the first time that I'm gonna be able to hear the car with my own ears for the first time. So just to let y'all know, we are missing the what passenger side of the exhaust. So if it does start, it's gonna be very loud. There's the canister that I installed. I plugged everything up. The car came with underglow um, lights as well. The previous guy had underglow lights on the car. So yeah, like I said, and to, pardon me, I sound like shit right now because so much dust in my garage, my allergies got to my nose and my allergies are kicking my ass. But um, once I can get the engine done and repaired, then it's just a matter of getting this car, whether I drive it or get it towed to the body shop to have them do all the body work that needs to be done. Like I said, this whole piece is coming out. They're gonna have to cut it. They're gonna replace it. I have the rear bumper. They're gonna have to paint this. Um, what else? I'm gonna have to order another set of these because um, this side is completely fine, but I got this chip right here and that's gonna bug me. Um, gotta put throw the mirror back on because we don't have the mirror because this whole door needs to be painted. We gotta paint the front fender. I'm probably gonna get the hood painted as well. Uh, we gotta get the front bumper painted because the hood, if y'all can see right here, like that's a scratch right here. That's a scratch, that's a scratch, that's a scratch. Yeah, so all up here is scratched up. They're not like super deep scratches. So 
might not me maybe not need to get it painted but i mean you can see like just in reference this whole driver's side is perfectly fine aside from the car just being dusty this whole side is perfectly fine you know so well um we'll kind of just take it and go from there but anyways i'm gonna hook up the battery all right guys keys here i haven't shown you all the keys i already got my mustang lifestyle and uh and tuner colt heartbreaker on here like i said i really don't know if this is gonna work but oh my goodness can't hurt to find out right clutch in So that's the sound that it makes. It's like, oh, my bad. I have 34 miles left till E. Yeah, I think the motor is just honestly just locked up. That's what it is. So, like I said, this is very unfortunate. I kind of already figured as much as I said, I've been told by numerous shops that the Motor's locked up, but couldn't hurt to try. Meanwhile, at the crusty crack. All right, guys, so currently I'm working on removing the sound tube out of my car. For those of y'all that don't know, which I'm sure you do, the sound tube just pumps um, enhanced induction noise into your cabin. Um, so I already removed the cold air intake, uh, the factory one. Like I said, I already have a cold, uh, JLT cold air intake that I'm gonna be installing. Um, but I am getting the engine worked on tomorrow, so I just thought why not just go ahead and remove it I'm gonna go ahead and leave it off um, And then while I'm in the process I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this sound tube because I don't feel like it'll be necessary I don't want fake induction noise pumped in to the car So I'm trying to Figure out a good way to place y'all basically I guess real quick there's gonna be some tabs that you have to remove. I already removed this one. This one came on the, uh, I think that one's gonna go back to the box and everything. But basically for the sound tube, you just have this clamp right here. You have to remove off the factory intake. And then there's a little plug right here. You just unwiggle that, take a, um, this guy right here and just wiggle that out of there. It'll eventually come out. And then I was watching some videos and they basically said, you're just gonna grab it from right here and you're just gonna keep yanking this until it comes off. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily the best way to go about doing that, if I'm honest, because they said there's it, it goes into the firewall and there's like a screw that is holding it together. It's gonna be kind of hard for y'all to see. Um, there's like a screw or something like that down there that's kind of preventing it. So they said to just yank on it until it comes out. So we're gonna attempt at it. Hopefully I don't break it or damage this part. Not that I need it anyways, but here goes nothing. Oh, well guys, uh, they were right. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, they're right. It didn't damage anything actually. All right, guys, so I went ahead and took apart one of the spark plugs in the car. And um, this is what this guy looks like. 
So that tells me that these spark plugs definitely, I'm gonna definitely have to change them when, before we, you know, move forward with the car. Or at least while the engine work is getting done, I'll have to go ahead and order a set of these guys because, yeah, those are not, those are, um, those are pretty bad. <laughs> so like I said, um, I'm gonna have my guy come out tomorrow. He's supposed to be here early in the morning. We're gonna try and take apart the engine and kind of just go from there. Hopefully, like I said, we didn't throw a rod. Hopefully it's just a head, um, something that just needs to be replaced. That'll be easily replaced. And you know, we can kind of go from there and hopefully this should, I'm gonna assume this is probably gonna take like two weeks or so, possibly depending on what is wrong with the car, ordering the parts, putting it all back together and everything. So kind of just bear with me guys. I'll keep y'all updated as much as I can along the way. And then I'll kind of like, I'll make a separate video giving going over like a backstory of like how I got this car, what originally happened, because I haven't said too much um, how I was able to obtain this car, but you know, it's a little bit of a project, but I mean, you know, the outside looks is a lot worse than the inside is. The inside is perfectly mint in mint condition. Um, like I said, this car did come. I don't know how the underglow works. Is that just light up? Cause, oh. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how the underglow works that this guy left in the car. I was honestly really hoping that he did a Starliner roof cause I will tell y'all I do plan on getting that installed in on the car but um because when i had first gotten this car i saw the roof liner was kind of um i kind of put it a little bit back to place but as you can see right here like this is kind of out of place that needs to go pop back in its place but i don't know if he did starliner roof on here i can't tell i was trying to see with this thing but i think we had originally kind of uh we cut the power to it originally whenever my cousin and i were working on the car because we we took apart all the wiring because it was sitting out in the rain and we didn't want anything bad to happen or like to fuck with the computers or anything so i know the car has underglow i don't know how to work it i'll have to figure out all of that out whenever i get an opportunity to whenever i can get this thing up and running that's my main concern and focus right now but you know then we'll be uh we'll be banging gears guys so, yep. Anyways, guys, that's uh, that's gonna be do it for this video. I need to up edit this video. I'm gonna actually, I'm trying to trying to just like shoot as much content as I can to try and build up the channel right now. I have another, I have like two other videos that I need to post. These parts I've had for a while. One of them took a really long time for, in order for me to get. So I'm gonna upload those. I'm actually gonna upload one today. Um, by the time you guys are watching it that video will watching this video that video will already be out then i need to upload the other one and then i'll upload this one and hopefully by then we'll uh that'll give me a, a some time to get some information on what exactly is wrong with the engine um, i'm gonna try and be here for when it's getting worked on so that i can you know make some content maybe if any, you know anyone else ever finds himself in this situation so um yeah if you guys like the video please like share subscribe like i said guys i'm getting back into youtube so leaving a like and subscribing really goes a long way try to uh, my goal right now is to get to a thousand followers which i know sounds very small compared to all these other channels but you know it's a start and then from there hopefully you know we'll be able to blow the channel up so if you guys like this video please like share subscribe and remember guys to always keep shifting forward i will catch you guys in the next one all right take care bye yeah I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drown in my sorrows. Drown in my sorrows, be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see in 26. Shit.